you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Okay guys, so I've talked about this topic in videos about three or four times in the last week or so, but guys, today is the final day before our first big promo of Madden. If you guys don't already know, we are getting the special stream from Mud Heroes tonight at about 7 p.m. Eastern time, so stay on the lookout for that. I unfortunately have class at that time, which is why you guys never receive videos for that. Next semester, I'm gonna have to work out my classes so that I don't have class at 7 p.m. because me being a brand new content creator did not anticipate the fact that there'd be special streams every Thursday night at 7 p.m. So my mistake on that one, right? But Guys, this is huge for the community. We got our first big promo. Again, Superstars wasn't a promo. None of this, Mutt 10 wasn't really a promo. Like It was new content, but it was not a promo. A promo is when, for that time being, there's new solos, new art, new cards, new everything. Like new, they just It's like a whole fully inverted promo, 32 cards most likely, limited times. It spans over the course of weeks. Like That is a promo to me. So Mutt, Mutt Heroes is our first promo. It's not a first big promo. The first big promo is gonna be most feared. But guys, we got a few weeks for that. We got like two to three weeks. So for the time being, Mud Heroes does come out tomorrow at 10.30. I'm going to go over the last minute stuff that I believe you guys should be focusing on prior to the drop for our first promo. So I'm going to be going over a few little investments maybe you could make. I'm going to go over some last minute things you want to be getting done. Some cards you might want to be parting ways with, guys. But before we get into all that, make sure to go down below, boys, with our quick little intro and hit that subscribe button. Guys, we are so close to 10K. You guys have killed it. We were at like 8.4k a few days ago. Now we're at 9.1k. We hit the 9k. We hit the 9k mark. We're this close to 10k. I could have. I couldn't, guys. I'm already stuttering because I don't know what to say it. Like we were at 2k subscribers when the Madden first started this year. We're. We, this is our first year on YouTube. I started back in February. Madden was already dead. I barely grew much then. I didn't. I never would have thought that in the first year, not even even then, then the first eight months of YouTube that. I would be at almost 10k and if you guys keep up this pace and we keep it going guys we could realistically hit 100k within two or three years so keep it going guys hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate every one of you guys that come and join the family comment down below what you guys are doing last minute for mud heroes and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys for the 9k let's get 250 likes in this video guys that'd be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much let's get into this video so what i am personally doing i'm picking up some cards as investments now i don't want to give any personal advice because again I'm not always right. You guys have to understand that. I'm a human. I'm a Madden player just like you guys. So I'll tell you guys what I'm thinking. I know there's going to be positional guys coming out. So you have to really think, right? So there's running backs coming out. What running backs haven't gotten cards yet? For me personally, I've been saying this for uh, a few weeks now. I anticipate that either Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley, or Alvin Kamara have to get a card. So I picked up a few of each just in case. You know, I know one of them is going to get a card. I, I'm hoping Saquon Barkley as a Giants fan. I've been praying for that. So I picked up a few just in case for that slight chance that he does get one. I think it's a pretty huge chance though. Now, so for me personally, I'd be investing in cards that you guys believe. Like, what? go look at the block, right? What base leads do you guys think deserve a card that haven't got one yet? So like for me, guys like Aaron Donald, I don't think he'll be getting a card. Aaron Donald's more of a most fear kind of guy. Now, Mutt Heroes, like I said, Zeke, Kamara, Barkley... There's guys like that where you just have a good feeling they're going to get one. So I'd recommend you guys go pick up, go do what you got to do as far as that. And also adjust your lineup accordingly. So let's say that there does be, there's a new Saquon. He's going to be the best running back in the game most likely. So you guys are going to want to adjust accordingly. So for me, Marcus Allen is not the best example of this because he's already cheap, right? He goes to like 130K. So for me, I wouldn't want to just go power him down and sell him. I won't make many coins back. But guys who have like maybe Dalvin Cook, guys who have Gale Sayers, now might be the time to just cut the bait and just get ready for Saquon Barkley or any of those guys, Zeke Elliott, Alvin Kamara, because you have to understand that having a card who's no longer the best positional value when the game, when the new card drops will only hurt you because then you're going to want to sell that card for the new one. and It's going to go down even more. Now the market is pretty low, mind you. So I wouldn't anticipate that it'll crash that much more, but it's always good to get ahead and out of the, out of the way. So like for quarterback, I believe Lamar Jackson is safe. I don't believe any quarterbacks are going to pass him in speed for quite a while. Vic was the only hope and Vic is less than him. So personally, Lamar Jackson, I think is a safe value. You don't have to get rid of him. Now guys like Lawrence Taylor would not touch. Guys like Randy Moss would not touch. Your power, and if you power them up, guys, I can't trust this enough. People always ask me, should I power down my card, get rid of all the abilities and sell them? If the card goes for 150k and you power them down, powering them up with abilities probably costs you 250k. So you're losing most of those coins. 
on top of the fact that then you have to go buy a new card and sell that card so you're probably going to lose with reduction and the up the upcharge in the next card you're probably going to lose like a few hundred k there plus the training it's not worth it if you have them all the way powered up wait it out see when new cards come out don't pre-anticipatorily I, I know i botched that word but you guys got the point don't pre-anticipate and sell out of fear if you're going to lose coins so like for me that'd be like if i powered if i thought there was going to be a beastly right outside linebacker tomorrow and i i powered down lawrence taylor all three of his abilities all his cams and everything and then tomorrow they dropped a 92 overall right outside linebacker that wasn't better than lawrence taylor then i gotta power him back up like and then you don't want to power him back up then you're screwed don't screw yourself just wait on that on that ground wait now as far as your coin stack I believe to get maximum coins for this month. October and not just Mud Heroes. October in general, our first big month of promos. We got Most Feared, and we got Mud Heroes, guys. So I'm stacking my coins up. I'm gonna have once I sell all my investments, I'll probably have close to 2.5 to 3 million coins on deck ready for this promo. I'm probably only gonna be picking up if there's a Saquon, I'll pick him up. If there is a new cornerback, I'll pick him up. If there's a new tight end, I'll pick him up. But that's about it. I'm gonna save the rest for Most Feared, guys. But I recommend building it now because once the once the promo start rolling value is never the same like once mud hero starts rolling all those older base elites cards unless they get upgrades will start phasing out and then once most fear comes out that's double the content everything else will start phasing out so i recommend you guys start really like this is the time when you can't just like just really be comfortable so the first month of madden in august buy all the base elites you want they're safe for the month second month remember buy all the base elites you want buy any card you want their value is safe now no one's safe any given day a nice card could drop from a promo that could kill the whole market like right now all the right end markets, you know, they're going for 200k. Let's say, like, let's say all the ends: Reggie White, um, Cameron Jordan, Marcus Lawrence. Any day now, most fear comes out. They drop an Aaron Donald 94 overall, Night Guardian like last year or 93 overall. Out of nowhere, their whole market tanks. Your right ends, no, no one's safe. I highly recommend. This is when you guys got to be checking daily, like, oh, what's their value going for? Okay, Cameron Jordan went down 10k. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he went down 30k. Ooh. Maybe at night I'll sell them. I'll only lose like 20k, but I want to be prepared because maybe maybe people know they're coming out. Something's coming out soon. You always want to be on top of that, guys. And like obviously some positions, like I said, if they're powered up, don't touch them. So my best overall tips, like I said, I can give you guys. Also, get your objectives done as soon as possible because once promos start rolling out, it makes it very hard to start getting objectives done because you're so focused on new solo challenges, potentially free player like house rules. We got weekend league. Maybe they give us a free uh, Mutt Heroes card from playing solos. You got to play that. But then they're going to come out most of you. Before you know it, this whole month you're playing solo challenge, especially people who work and only have like an hour or two a day to play this game. They might not get some of this stuff done until the end of the month. So you guys want to get your last minute things done. So for me personally, what I'd be doing today is go get your Pat Tillman at least close to as finished as you can. Because certain things you can't get done by playing the game, like quickly at least. So like 300 force fumbles. That was a drag. So for me, I went into solo challenges. I played on defensive solo challenges and I kept just forcing fumbles on one play uh, challenges and just kept replaying it. I'd get that done because like again, force fumbles, you can get it through the game. But if you got this naturally just by playing, it'll probably take you until next month if you don't play, if you only play like an hour or two a day. I'm talking to the fathers out there, the working guys, you know, the guys who can't play too often, who get like an hour a day in between wife and kids. Like, you know, I, I understand that struggle. So things like that, obviously yards and stuff. You want to, if you want to progress yards, passing yards is easy. You go to the level up solo challenge. You could level up by just throwing 90 yard touchdowns while gaining this. I gained that pretty fast just doing that. Now, again, your level of grind, guys, get that done. If you can today, go grind out solos. Get that done today because, guys, if you guys don't already know, the level of grind from 0 to 60 probably gets you damn near 1.5 million coins altogether. Also, you're going to get power passes. So if you get to level 60, you get an 89 to 90 overall power pass, which you can use for guys like Lawrence Taylor, Base Legends. And if they drop Mud Hero cards, if there's any Mud Hero cards at 90 overall, or anything like that you could power past them go get your passes and also you can use those passes to regain coins back so let's say you only have 500k coins and you want 800k for uh, mud heroes go get your 89 pass and let's say you have lawrence taylor you toss him into lawrence taylor you sell your base elite or you sell your base legend lawrence taylor for like 280 300k and now your coin stats looking better that's what i did i used to put all my power passes in i got back a bunch of coins by selling the cards i had in there prior you get your quick sells you get some tory hold tokens you can progress on pat tillman you get some level of packs of platinum cards for quick sells i think it was like 50 to 60 got you like 300k worth of platinum quick sells i think it was like what was it you got 220 worth platinum quick sells plus quick sells in general for the packs there is so much you can do I'd recommend getting this all done by today or at most by 10.30 tomorrow when the thing drops. Because once everything drops, you're going to have no time to be worrying about leveling up. And if you're close enough, maybe you could just wait because you could just level up by playing the solos from Mud Heroes. But remind, remind you guys, just playing solos really doesn't bring your level up that much. It's when you grind out those like, glitchy solos where you get like 100 XP every 30 seconds. Those are when you're really leveling up fast. So guys, that's about all the advice I can give you. Recap real quick. Get your coin stack up before tomorrow. 
finish your grinds and objectives before tomorrow because once time comes for tomorrow you're gonna have to put everything down and get back onto the horse and get onto the new promos um prepare your team if you have a lot of positions locked in right now that aren't powered up maybe it's time that we start making that switch because new cards will be coming out that are better than the ones that are currently in the game it's gonna be a whole new era coming in now with all these new promos i would just prepare accordingly guys don't undersell don't kill your power-ups invest in cards that you believe will get cards for me personally i think it's very simple for the, to get to invest the cards tomorrow there's very few people that are just so obvious like there's some guys that you just know have to get a card tomorrow so do your research do your math on that go look up i don't want to give anything that i i don't want to give you guys anything wrong so it's on you guys to figure out but it's pretty obvious guys that you'd think like i said saquon barkley but that is about it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button come join the family let's get to 10k subs as quick as possible comment down below what your plan of attack is for today and tomorrow when my heroes drops so let's drop a like on this video guys it takes one second out of your time go down below if you made it this far you probably liked the video let's get this video to 250 likes and if you guys haven't already turn on that noti bell i'm out see you guys in the next video enjoy the rest of your day peace